Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another Celebrating Act 2 vlog by my famous partner, John Coleman, and me. Hey, John. Hey, me, Art, me, Art Kurtz. Got to say your yeah. name in there, Art. No, 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 no. I'd like to uh, I'd give you something to say. What, oh, so what I, should we I, talk about right. today, John? What should we talk about today? Besides you my name, name I, I, I have a pretty name. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to see you. Did you have a nice weekend? I had a great weekend. Uh, you know, over, we had a nice 4th of July. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, we even went to a concert, which we don't normally do on uh, Monday night, uh, seeing a uh, Pacific Sympathy uh, rendition of all the greatest hits of Queen. A really oh, great wow. time. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, so what about, what about, what about, what about, what about you, John? What about you, John? Uh, what did you do? I ate a lot of hot dogs. That's it. Did, did you start. go to Nathan's? Did you go to Nathan's <laughs> in New York? I I have in the past. Yeah, so okay. both Nathan's and Coney Island and Nathan's in Times Square, if you remember when they opened up oh, in Times ab Square. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there's a new weekend coming up. We're in the height of maybe it's not quite the height of summer, it's still July. But I've noticed that um Everybody's going on vacation. The vacations have started already. So uh, we got grandkids at camp. I got daughters who are planning vacations, a mm -hmm. son who's planning another vacation. Every, it's vacation time. And it, it struck me that being of a certain age, mm -hmm. um, those people, whether we, I don't like the word retired, but being of a certain age, we really have a vacation all year long if we want it. You know, oh, so, no... so, so, John, are you talking about the difference between civilians and people in the Act Two generation? I think that's you're trying to make a separation. I like, that's there. what I needed to say. The Act Two okay. generation, yeah. and basically, so, we're talking about the Act part of the Act Two generation that, in general, doesn't have younger children because some of some of us do. Okay, not some, you and I, some but don't. You're right. Some don't. But, but when, once you get once you get into the empty nester kind of situation, uh, we don't need to to go on high traffic uh, uh, vacations, you know, during the, the the vacation months of the summer when school is out for our kids. Uh, we can go anytime uh, year round, can't we? We can, but you know, you and I live in Southern California, so right. of course it's beautiful all year round. But right. if you live anywhere else three quarters of the country, uh, there's a reason for vacation time. It's because the weather is nicer in the summer, you know. Yeah. Um, but you're right. We of the Act Two generation don't have, a, we don't have a set schedule. We don't have to go on vacation when the kids are out of school, right? We can go right. on vacation in the winter and take a cruise in the Caribbean. Right. Or even uh, October, November, if you could, let's say, go to Europe, it's still mild enough. It's maybe fall, so it's not yeah. as hot. And uh, the crowds have dissipated to a large extent, sure. except for all the old fogies like us <laughs> who bump into one another because that's when people start going. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and also, uh, uh, I, I think the big thing is that when you don't have, uh, when, when you're pretty much empty nesters or don't have the requirements of being home and taking care of other people, uh, so, and sometimes we do anyway by taking care of our parents and, and things like that. Uh, but even going to things like South America, it's based, I think it's basically that we don't have the, the responsibility of child rearing uh, anymore to a large extent. So even if we go to, in the middle of winter to uh, uh, a Southern hemisphere, like Australia or South America, uh, it's primarily because we don't have to worry about sitting around taking care of the kids at home. So I think that's the big difference of why we can go in for us the off season. Yeah, that, well, that's a good point. And I think you're, the other thing is that you just said, the off season. Mm -hmm. If you've got the flexibility, it's much more fun to go any place in the off season. Uh, but also, but also, I'd if you say, can go in the middle of the week, it's like going in the middle of the week, even in the on season, is that you can only get uh, forgetting about the situation with the airlines now not having enough uh, crew and things like that, which will eventually solve. But we've always been able to go in the middle of the week when it wasn't convenient for other people because they, you know, they right. had a Monday, uh, a, a Saturday to Saturday 
time period that they could be on vacation. We can go on a Wednesday when it's normally less expensive because the uh, in normal times when the planes or uh, other transportation is not as full. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, not all of us of a certain age uh, can afford vacations and with mm -hmm. inflation. I think that's becoming more common too. So right, and we, you and I, are basically on year-round stake staycations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of people who are in the southern climes, uh, and uh, uh, you know, I find just that there's plenty to do around here when I want to get out. And like you say, we have good weather, so yeah. it's not like we have to escape a harsh winter or something like that. Yeah. Now you you and I are both East Coasters, originally from mm -hmm. New York, and we mm -hmm. have a lot of friends um, on the East Coast in the Midwest. And I noticed that um, even if you live in Florida, I have a lot of friends who have retired to Florida. Right. Even those folks that live in Florida, they want to go when the weather gets nice. They want to go north. Right. <laughs> to New England, and then of course the people in New England and Canada. Well, well to, watch, to, to watch to watch the to watch the uh, leaves change. That was always. Uh, that, that's oh, something we don't get down here. The famous Kangamangas Highway. Yeah. Kangamangas. <laughs> uh, you can you can kanga your mangas all day long. It's a beautiful. We'll have beautiful, to make that I a think separate about twenty-five miles through Vermont. We'll have to make that a a, a, a separate uh, uh, vlog because well, I'm going to have to go look it up. I've never heard of that before. I know driving up through New England on the uh, ninety-five, uh, you yeah. see all the changes, and on some of the uh, what's really nice is some of the parkways. Uh, that wind through the. Uh, the I'm telling you, the Kangamangas is it. It's the Kangamangas leaf change. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, anyway, vacations. I hope everybody takes one, even if it's a staycation. There, mm -hmm. There's something about um, changing your routine, changing your pattern, doing something different, even if it's only for a few days. That is, um, it's good for us all. We need to. Wait, I have an idea, John. I have an idea. Okay, okay, okay. because. Some of our viewers, okay, haven't binge watched the playlists of their favorite regular contributor. That would be a that would be a, like a, a change of pace. That a change of a routine. staycation if ever I ha heard of one, yeah. So go to you go to youtube.com slash uh celebrating act two right. and uh, look up your favorite uh, uh playlist. Binge watch John Mariani or Michelle or, Fabrega. Or Dr. Or, Liz. or Manny, Manny Pacheco to find out what's sure. going on and what, what you've forgotten about Hollywood, he'll tell you about. <laughs> so uh, I think we've now uh, uh, destroyed another excellent eight minutes or so. And uh, we should probably exit stage left rather quickly uh, so that people can go see the playlists. Well, I'm, I'm going to start my staycation with a nap on the porch. Ah. It's, that's heart of every vacation. Wow. Do you need directions? Do you use a GPS signal to get support on your on your estate? No, wherever I go, I can take a nap. So <laughs> book a cruise to the Caribbean, take a nap on deck. Wow. Right? You go to Europe, take a nap uh, on the croissant in the uh, can. Oh, I like croissants. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nice fresh croissant. <laughs> anyway, um, so... Go go on vacation, wait till the, the low season, uh, the inexpensive season. You know, October, November, December, January, and uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should go on a vacation to uh, in the middle of the uh, October, November. I've never been to Patagonia, or uh, what's the place where the, the Galapagos? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know, with the, the turtles and and and, uh, and the people. Yeah. Easter you know, things. you know what is uh, is big with our set uh, with the Act Two generation is educational um, tours, vacations, mm. and cruises, and things like that. Um, it's it's fascinating that the older you get, the more interested you are in kind of what you don't know. Um, and, and what and you hated when you were growing, and what you were hated big. when you were growing up. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, that's true. They, all of a sudden, because we're valuable. Yeah. All right. Anyway, everybody have a great vacation this summer or this winter. Not. Or a staycation. Whatever. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.